I think philosophy matters most when it's felt in a person and related to your daily life. So I write from a perspective of somebody for whom that's the case. My name is Maggie Nelson and I'm a writer. I'm a writer who makes use of a lot of different disciplines from criticism to philosophy to journalism to poetry to talk about contemporary problems, be they sexual violence or the nature of beauty. I'm just trying to get my thoughts out in the way that seems most fitting and sometimes that takes the form of narrative autobiography, sometimes it takes the form of cultural criticism, it just depends on the, on the problem at hand. The Argonauts is, uh, I call it auto theory, which is a combination of autobiography and uh, critical theory and it was really taking the last 30 years of study of feminist and queer theory and combining it with uh, an examination of current issues around gay marriage, queer family making, transgender issues, queer maternity. It kind of was a snapshot of the times vis-a-vis um, -vis my life and also using uh, theory and philosophy. If you're bothered by an idea, you're not bothered by it in the abstract, you're bothered by it because it really um, is possessing you in some way. So, you know, one example is that um, you know, my aunt was murdered and I wrote two books about my aunt's murder. And during that time of researching her murder and going to the trial of the suspect, I became very interested in uh, how violence works in representation because her death happened but then it was re-represented in the media and re-represented um, in true crime books. And so all of that interest in representation of a cruel act um, became the focus of another book of mine, The Art of Cruelty, which was all about not, not literal acts of violence, but what violence and representation does. It had a personal root to me that made the subject feel very hot. As a writer, not all the time, but you have to go into an idea that feels, you know, nerve-wracking in some way uh, to take a risk. And it can be hard because often as you're going into it, you're thinking, this is a really bad idea and I can't tell if it's a good bad idea or if it's just a bad bad idea and you have to see it all the way through to, to determine. When I got the call, I, mean, actually, I wept actually, I think it just, it just seemed incredible. This is, you know, something I just never would have imagined in terms of recognition, so, um, and obviously it'll be very uh, transformative for my work and my family, so it's amazing. Mm -hmm.